Foreskin Radio. Who's that handsome devil? Cut or uncut. Actual foreskin not required. What's happened to logic in this world? Hey, what's up? It's another exciting video podcast of fucking Foreskin Radio. I Video yeah. Podcast. And you are on the YouTube. I, I am <laughs> Professor Rastestis. And I am the diggity 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 doctor look alive puss. This is. And uh, today on Forston Radio, we actually received some uh, questions from uh, some. We viewers. have a segment. It's called Ask the Doctor Anything. <laughs> Ask the Doctor. <laughs> With commentary the doctor by the professor. Questions. Ask the Doctor. Romantic advice. Ask the Doctor the question. Ask me the fucking questions that you have about bitches and titties and vads, cause I be dropping the rhymes down to tell you how to be from the underground, Yo. giving that sound to the niggas, telling them how bitches should be figured, dealing them all like drugs, and telling them, bitch, don't bug, just give me a hug, suck a my dick, bitch, and if you don't like it, I'll spray you in the face. My penis makes <laughs> yes. strong. I, you can find me on motherfucking MySpace coming out. Yo, I'll bring my own lube. You're watching Dr. Lickalotopus on YouTube. Fucking right. Fucking right. All right. Okay. First question yeah. is from Frustrated. <laughs> Frustrated hailing, in Cincinnati. Ha- hailing, hailing from Enderby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Seriously? Frustrated reads Dear Doctor, I'm madly in love with. Um, <laughs> A boy two grades older than me. What? Two grades older? Is it a girl? Older? Yeah, is it, yeah, yeah. Or is it a boy? Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. I'm in love with a boy. Two grades We've been together for two me. years, and he's Yo, a wait, perfect on, boyfriend on. in every way. Except for one thing. What? Can you repeat the question again? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah, just All right, I'll check. I have to, have to analyze. I'm madly... Pressure to re- writes, Dear Doctor, I'm madly in love with a boy two grades uh, higher than me. We've been together for two years. He's a perfect boyfriend in every way, except for one thing. I gotta take I'm, a shit. I'm not pleased <laughs> with the size of his penis. What? Oh, wow, okay, okay. <laughs> what Here's should I do? Well, how many, how okay. many other guys have you been with? That's the question. Okay, I'll let you. What are you comparing okay. with? What are you comparing with? Seriously. You're fucking 14 or whatever the fuck. Honestly. 16, bitch? Fucking emo about that shit? Come on. <laughs> How big do you need it? Is it fit? It fucking fits. Right. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay, that's the professor and uh, doctor here. Uh, frustrated. What I got to offer you is that uh, it's obvious that you really do care about this guy. And unfortunately, um, you know, his disposition is that he does have a smaller penis. And uh, there is a way to go around <laughs> that. There's various sexual positions of where you can feel the tight penetration and it make the penis feel like it's bigger within your vagina. One way is to, when you're lying on your back, you uh, being the girl, lie on your back, keep your legs together and lift your legs up, straight up. That way the tendons in the legs are tightened and the vaginal muscles are pressed in together. Uh, The higher you stretch up, uh, the looser it'll get, like the more you push back, so keep it straight up so it's still tightened. And then get the guy to fuck you like that. Like, let's, let's get that. Fuck you like that when you're holding your legs, you know? <laughs> that helps. Another way that's good is lying on your. Um, I'm gonna have to get down here and show you. Oh get, shit. Okay, lie on your side get down on and it. Do this. Okay, get down on it. do this. It's just the same thing. <laughs> yeah, basically, but what it's doing is uh, it's a different position. The guy could lie on top of you and he could grab a titty and pull your hair while he's doing that. And the best way to do that is uh, now, because your legs are together again and you're lying on your side. It's, uh, yeah, you'll feel the penetration so harder happy. as well. So Another thing good. is when you're in doggy style, don't arch your back up too high. Here's how you do doggy style, okay? <laughs> if you're gonna do doggy style. Don't go, bitch, don't go like this. Go like this, spread it a little bit, but make sure that you're clenching your cervical muscles, okay? You know how to do it. Clench your cervical muscles, lean onto something for support, clench them tight, but I know like when you get horny, you don't want to spread your legs more. But bitch, clench that shit tight, let the motherfucking ram you like mm-hmm. eh, 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 like that, you'll be fine. Alright. Okay. My, my, my serious advice? Anal. <laughs> End the story. No, 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 no. No, there Dude. is a G-spot in your anus, honey, and you know what? You can't access it, but the best bet for you is... Uh, Jerk you that get, gherkin. Yeah. You could get to, you could fuck him, fuck him, and he could like, you know, finger bang your asshole at the same time, and you're getting double penetration. Another thing, if your boyfriend, um, this goes to any of our viewers, 
if he sways age. to the left or the right, the best way to do it is angle yourself um, opposite of which way his dick sways. That way, like, say if his dick sways that way, then bitch, you angle your body so then your abdomen is facing here and that you're leveled like this, like, like lying what? back a little bit. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you're doing this too much, nigga! <laughs> you have to get like this. You have to get this like is not this. advice. No, Julie had one question. Shut up, motherfucker. You have to get like this, bitch. And then, <laughs> you him be like this. So if his dick sways to the left while he's fucking you, it's going and hitting your clit at the same time, and you're feeling it because that shit oh, sways. Oh, so it's a clit. perfect, it's in perfect uh, unison. You gotta make it uh, angled off per, uh, perfectly. A great way to help out is to use pillows for balancing and all that, so then you don't have to worry about balancing. You just relax in the big pillows. Invest. Five dollar big pillows. This is bay. Here's my favorite the solution. Not there anymore. This is okay. You got a perfect relationship? Fine. He's got a small penis? Fine. Have sex with him while he's having a cigarette. Get yourself a vibrator. Ooh, dildo. No, 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 no. The thing is, no, no, the thing is. Okay, um, enough of this bitch. <laughs> all right, all right, move on. Let's move on. No, no, no. Question I want to address that. Answer. I want to address okay, that. Go, go, go. Frustrated. Another thing is that um, I do understand, ladies. That yeah, a vibrator, sure. The thing is, a lot of bitches, and this is to the guys, they want to feel your dick in them. They want to feel that connection. Hit they want to feel close to you. <gasps> so getting a vibrator just because you got a small dick doesn't fucking compensate. It helps, and they love it. Bitches love it. But they also want you inside them because it's that physical connection. Women are sensuous. Next question. All right, all right guys. All right. 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 All right